I bought two Nintendo DS Lite consoles from DK Oldies for almost $250, and in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at both of them and see if they're actually refurbished this time. So let's start by talking about the prices of these consoles because I think the DS Lite consoles are one of the more outrageously priced consoles on their site. Now, I paid $130 for one console, $120 for the other one. Uh, by the way, they're both cosmetically flawed. And just for reference, you can buy a good condition DS Lite for under $50 on eBay. So I just wanted to note here that I actually saved a lot of money going with the cosmetically flawed system because apparently the good system goes for $170, just wild stuff. But we're paying that premium price because it's supposed to be clean and refurbished. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's inside. All right, so as you can see, it is clearly from DK Oldies. All right, so here's the packing slip. I ordered one white console, one Guitar Hero console, which I had never heard of before. And just by the way, this order was quite a while ago, back in January during the whole DK Oldies saga. Just now getting to these though. So let's go ahead and open them up. We got our white console here. We've got our Guitar Hero console here, our chargers. All right, so we'll start with the chargers here. And they are both OEM. Nice. Here's the first one. So let's take a look at it. We got a white console. Uh, looks pretty on the front, on the back. Of course, you got that obnoxious sticker there on the back. Uh, we've got our game in here, Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt, some sort of uh, demo game. Now let's try out the uh, trigger buttons here. Those seem to work fine as well. Taking so a look at the bottom, you got your volume. On the side, you got your power, got your stylus. Now taking a look on the inside here, you've got your A, B, X, and Y, your D-pad, your start select, all those all look good, feel good. You've got your two screens here, and they look pretty good. The uh, top screen has some scratches, but nothing too crazy. Uh, the bottom screen does have some scratching, but of course that's going to happen with your stylus, so that's, uh, you know, expected. Now to be honest, I'm not sure why they called it cosmetically flawed, because this one looks pretty good. I don't see any, you know, uh, anything above normal scratching. Now the one thing I will say that's a little bit disappointing is these cracks are still caked with dirt, which happens on the DS Lite uh, pretty frequently, but for $130, you would think they would actually open the console up and clean those cracks out, but I'm not surprised they didn't. I'll show some photos on the screen so you can see it better. Let's go ahead and put that one to the side and open up the uh, Guitar Hero one. I'm very curious what this one looks like because I've never seen this one in person. And uh, oh yeah, that one's definitely cosmetically flawed. You can see a bunch of scratches there on the front. Now, I guess the difference here is the white one does have some scratching on the front, but it's hard to see because of just like the, the natural color of it. Uh, this one is definitely cosmetically flawed though because it's got a lot of scratches there on the front. Got, got a, a ding up right there. Um, you got this cool Guitar Hero logo there. And it's not it's not a sticker. It's actually, you know, printed on the, the casing there, which is pretty cool. Now, taking a look at the back here, of course, you got your uh, warranty sticker there. And it is very scratched up in the back. You've got your stylus and everything else looks good on the back. Triggers feel pretty good as well. I uh, got your volume slider, looks good. Now taking a look at the inside, there is some scratching. The top screen is probably a little bit worse than the last one, but still not too bad. The bottom screen does have some scratching. Of course, all these buttons look pretty good. They do have some wear and tear, but of course this is cosmetically flawed, so that's expected. Now the good thing about this console, I think because of the colorway, you don't really see any kind of grime and dirt in those cracks. There might be some there, but um, I don't see it. The white one, the white DS Lite is like notorious for getting dirt in those cracks, but again, like I think for <laughs> Triple market value, they probably should have cleaned that. But let's go ahead and turn these on and see if they work. So let's just start with the Guitar Hero 1. We got this one right here. And man, the DS Lite, such a nostalgic console for me. I haven't played one in so long, but uh, yeah, they factory reset it. So let's go ahead and I'll put in my classic name of QWERTY here. But yeah, like I was saying, it's such a nostalgic console for me. I played it a ton when I was like, I don't know, 10 years old. Played download, played with my friends. All right, so we're here to the main menu now. Check out the screen brightness. That works no problem. Let's do the uh, screen calibration here and make sure that all works. Dude, the thing I forgot about the DS Lite is every time you go out of the settings menu, you have to shut it down and turn it back on, which is annoying. But, you know, back in the day, I had, I didn't think anything of it because it was just normal. But uh, the way things go these days, that's kind of weird. Now, PictoChat, that was my favorite. I love to do pact PictoChat with my friends and stuff. But let's go ahead and put a game in. I think actually also to put a game in, you have to restart the console. Yep, you do. So we got to turn it off and back on again. Again, not a big deal. It takes like two seconds to turn it back on. Just something that's kind of funny compared to what we do nowadays. So we got Metroid Prime Hunters First Hunt. Let's go ahead and boot it up and, and play a little bit. It's so funny going back to the DS Lite days and using the touchscreen like kind of as your right stick. Uh, it actually works really well. Like you can get really precise aiming and stuff. Now I will say, although these uh, touchscreen controls are pretty accurate, it makes my left hand cramp a lot because I got to use the controls to move around and also the left trigger to shoot. And it just makes your hand cramp up pretty quickly. It's definitely a definitely a kid-sized console. All right, so we got Mario Tennis Power Tour. And honestly, this is probably my favorite Game Boy Advance game. I don't know why. It was just such a fun game. It had like a little tour mode where you were, you were like this... I don't know what your name was. Ace, I think. And you were trying to work your way up to play against Mario and Donkey Kong and all those dudes. All right, but yeah, it's clearly working. Man, I'm going to have to go back and play this game some. This is not my original copy. I sold my original copy like ages ago when I sold my Game Boy Advance SP. I don't know where I got this one from, but I have it now. So one other thing I want to point out here is the hinge on this Guitar Hero DS Lite is actually pretty loose, like more loose than a, a DS Lite hinge should be. So honestly, as a little concerning, I think it's 
probably on its way out. I'm not sure how much time it has left, but to be honest, I don't expect DK Audis to replace the hinge on a console that's still working fine, but I do think it's something that uh, their, where their uh, warranty will actually come into play because I think this will probably break before the warranty is up. Yeah, that's my guess. I don't know if it will or not. All right, so something I want to try real quick is the internet browser. And I just recently bought this in Nintendo DS browser brand new for like 15 bucks. Man, it's been a long time since I opened up a brand new DS game. Let's go ahead and put it in. So you got to put in the uh, browser here and you need extra, you need a memory expansion pack because there's not enough memory in the uh, DS Lite to use a browser. So we got to put this in the Game Boy Advance slot. And now we boot it up and we'll see if it works. So I have the browser booted up and it's so funny to see this in 2023 because I think the last time I saw this was probably 2007, 2008 maybe. And I was going to connect to the internet here, but I forgot I got to change a bunch of settings on my router. So I'm just not going to bother with it because it doesn't really matter, honestly. So now let's go ahead and move on to the white Nintendo DS and test it out and make sure it works. Thanks to Ranvu for sponsoring today's video. So this right here is the Ice 3 and it's Ranvu's smart neck air conditioner. So basically you take this thing, you put it around your neck like so, and you can configure the two thermal pads to either heat or cool, and you can also adjust the fan speed. And uh, by the way, this thing has 24 hours of battery life in fan mode. And unlike ordinary fans, the Ice 3 blows cool air, not hot air, and provides 25 degrees of additional cooling compared to other cooling devices. So now, when would you use a device like this? Well, maybe you're taking a walk on a hot summer day, or maybe you're just laying out by the pool trying to get a tan, or maybe you're like me and you're just in your backyard throwing a tennis ball to your dog. You can even take this thing off your neck, put it on this little stand, and use it as a desk fan if you want to. So to get the best deal on Ranvu's product, check out their Indiegogo campaign and get 35% off. You can also buy the Ice 3 on Amazon or Ranvu's website, and I'll have all the links down below. All right, got the white one here, and this the hinge on this one feels a whole lot better than the, the Guitar Hero one. Let's go ahead and see if it boots up. I also need to make sure these things charge up. We'll, we'll test that in a minute. And oh, oh no, this one's got a bad screen. So I just wanted to jump in here and talk about how they really should have noticed the screen issue when testing the console. I mean, like you saw, I noticed the issue immediately when I turned it on and I don't work on DS lights every day like DK Audis does. Now, because of the camera and lighting, it is a bit hard for you to see the screen yellowing in the video, but trust me, it's pretty obvious in person. And even more obvious is the fact that the screen is very dim, which you'll see in just a second. Now, of course, sometimes mistakes happen and things slip through the cracks. I mean, uh, that's just part of life and that's why we have customer service. But the problem is that there's some sort of issue literally every single time I buy from them. I mean, their customer service is good and all, but man, I, you shouldn't need to contact customer service with every single purchase. Now, if you want to see a company that's even worse than DK Audis here, uh, check out the video on the screen right now. So I played around with this DS Lite for a while and we do indeed have a problem as I suspected. So like I showed you, we do have some yellow discoloration here at the top and I think there's a little bit down here, but it's hard to tell. I'll show some photos on the screen. Now, the biggest difference here is the brightness. Like you can clearly see this one's from DK Audis. This is a DS Lite I have. And this is the other one from DK Audis. And you can clearly see the brightness on this one is just like way darker than these two. So that's the biggest thing here. Like look at that, look how bright that screen is right there. Let me just show you so you can see these are two different DS lights, and this one right here is from, from DK Oldies. Now, let me uh, just confirm to you that we are on the brightest screen on both of them. So, it's a fair comparison, and yeah, so that that is an issue. But let's go ahead and try out a DS Lite game or a DS game on this DS Lite and just make sure that works. All right, so clearly this game is working. Let's go ahead and turn it off and try out a Game Boy Advance game. All right, Game Boy Advance game is working as well. You can barely see it on the screen because of how dark it is. And man, that's just so disappointing. Every time I buy something from them, there's something wrong, either non refurbished, not working issues it's just like every time man but i'm gonna send them an email and get a return on this hopefully and let's go ahead and take these consoles apart and see what they look like on the inside so we'll start by opening up the guitar here one and honestly man i don't even think i'm gonna open up the white one because i don't want them to give me any crap for the warranty sticker being gone i know that that doesn't actually void the warranty but uh, you know they might say something like oh you opened it up and messed up the screen i don't know i'm just not gonna mess with this so let's go ahead and uh <laughs> do the honors here and peel this uh, warranty sticker off with the black one bang man that leaves some that leaves some nasty residue behind there. Got the battery out and it looks like it's OEM, so that's good to see. And something I just noticed here is the uh, the water damage sticker appears to be activated right there. As you can see, it's like basically full pink. <laughs> so we're down to the PCB now, and the good thing is this liquid indicator is not lit up, so that's good to see. Looks like the water did not seep down here. Now, there is some residue there. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't seem to affected it, have affected anything. Now, taking a look at the top piece here, it's clearly... Uh, pretty grimy around the edges. You got some grime in there. I'm not surprised they didn't open it up and clean it, but I think for 120 bucks they probably should. Uh, but uh, you know, that's what we expected here. Now I decided to open up the uh, at least the battery compartment on the white one, and this one also has the liquid indicator lit up, which is interesting to see. <laughs> All right, yeah. So my DS light is fine. Here on the right is mine. The left is D DK Audis. This one, the liquid indicator is not lit up. That one is. Um, so it's kind of odd that both of the ones from DK Audis are lit up. I guess. Maybe some sort of liquid they're using to, to clean it is leaking down in there and doing that, or we just happen to get two 
uh, consoles that had the, the liquid that leaked down there. Also, I changed my mind. I am going to open up this DS Lite, this white one. Um, if they don't believe me that I didn't mess it up, I'll just send them the video and show them that it was messed up before I open it up. Inside is actually does not look as bad as I thought it would. But like, again, what I was talking about here is if all they had done is open this up, they could have cleaned this grime around the edges. Uh, because it was pretty grimy and it's and like i said it's pretty well known that most white ds's get very grimy around the edge so all you got to do is open it up use some isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip and clean that up so getting down to the board on the white one it does look pretty good no issues there it's just you know a little bit grimy around this one now uh, obviously the main issue here is the the reduced brightness on the white one with the yellowing screen um the ds light uh, the, the guitar hero ds light had a hinge that was like a little bit iffy but again i don't expect them to replace that i think i just think it'll have to be replaced under warranty at some point now uh thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video of course as always it seems that something happens every time and by the way i will have one more dk Oldies video tomorrow on a refurbished ps3 that i bought from them like a while back i haven't opened it up yet so i don't know what kind of condition it's going to be in but we're going to find out tomorrow so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time